This sucks. <laughs> My really freaking nice truck is broken right now. <laughs> adventure just want to say a quick shout out to mountain hatch this is one of the coolest things we've added to our truck it's food grade so you can cook and cut food and there's cup holders and it's just been seriously one of the best things we've added i guess we're bringing ski stuff we uh called the ranger station and there's like five inches which isn't really enough to ski road that we would want to take to get up to some decent corn is still gated. My hopes are low. We'll see. We're gonna try to ski these uh, mashed potato lines up in the Tusher Mountains. What do you think? Is there gonna be snow? The tushies. I can see so here. There's something. Are you gonna eat it? We were just driving and exploring some roads, trying to find a camp spot. And our exhaust is severed, essentially. That's the best way I can describe it. it. I don't know what happened. Now we're gonna try to find a flat spot so that we can at least like hook it up so it's not dangling. So let me show you. That's our exhaust pipe. Just hanging out there. This is what I mean when I say that like, no travel is no risk at all. Like. We were well prepared. Our truck is in good shape. This was something we couldn't foresee. Thankfully, we're gonna be able to like MacGyver this and get back home without having to like call a mechanic or a tow truck. But like, we could have been in a situation where we, we did need to do that. Nara's offering me some emotional support. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> so I don't know what our plan is. So this part back here, completely severed. This is stupid. This is stupid. She's like trying to dig something up with her little nose. What are you doing? So, we've been at it for, what do you say, like an hour? We ate some lunch. We kind of looked around the truck to see if there was anything that would work. And we found these like, metal handles that came off of a lantern that I have. And Alejandro spent a bunch of time down there trying to figure out different like configurations and places that he could like attach these to the exhaust and then attach them to somewhere on the frame. Too short. And ultimately what he came up with was just to kind of like wedge it back in with itself and like he's been banging on it and it's totally fine. The sad news is we're gonna call it. Even just to take a drive up in the mountains, get out of town, I'm like in a sweatshirt, so. That's been nice. These kind of things happen and, and we learn from this experience now. We have a bunch of stuff that we would have really liked to have in our recovery kit that we didn't have. That's not a total loss. <laughs> We're gonna take the little doggies for a walk.
Those are the lines we wanted, but we can't get down the road today. Maybe next week. learn sometimes our expectations are not met <laughs> and what and what we want to accomplish in an adventure yeah it's been it's a day a full of, of unexpected things popping up like just to get out of the heat of saint george and to be up in the mountains and the mountain breeze and like to see the dogs running around happy and playing in the snow like that was worth driving a couple hours like, I don't yeah. feel like the yeah. day was a waste at all. No. So <laughs> Every broken part in a, is an upgrade opportunity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will link below, like I said, the resources that I've been using to help guide my decision making for travel and recreation during a pandemic. Be sure to like and subscribe for more travel vlogs and overlanding and adventure content. Hopefully more successful adventures than this one in the future, but um, not going to sugarcoat. This stuff happens and you have to be prepared to weather the obstacles as they come. So we'll see you guys in the next video and until then we'll see you down the road. Bye.